Hello all. So, in the last sessions we have seen what is sentence classification, how RNNs are used for performing sentence classification, we have seen few drawbacks of RNN and how we have overcome those drawbacks of RNN using another architecture of RNN which is called as LSTMs, right. So, we have also seen few drawbacks of LSTM which says LSTM architecture is complex with which for which we have large computational costs, ok. So, in order to overcome this disadvantages of LSTM we go for another type of recurrent neural network which is called as GRUs gated recurrent units. So, today in this session we would talk about what GRUs are ok. So, when we talk about GRU, GRU stands for gated recurrent unit which is also one type of recurrent neural network architecture which is almost similar to LSTM ok. So, like LSTM GRU is also used for handle sequential data allowing the information to flow selectively whether to retain the data or discard the data right. So, we have seen that LSTMs memory cell, we use that particular cell for either discarding the data or um, you know carry forwarding the data right. Similar to that GRUs also are used for retaining the data or discarding the data, but with simpler architecture with fewer parameters ok. So, the only difference between GRU and LSTM is GRU architecture is simple with few parameters with which we can overcome the disadvantage of computational cost and complex architecture ok. So, the main difference between GRU and LSTM is the way they handle the memory cell state ok. So, in LSTM when we have seen the memory cell state is maintained separately from the hidden state, hidden state C of t was different. Uh, hidden state H of t was different and memory cell C of t was different right. So, uh, and we have seen the different ways in which we update them. H of t was updated using input gate, output gate and forget gate right. So, but in case of GRU the memory cell here is replaced with candidate activation vector ok. So, instead of three gates we have only two gates which are reset gate and update gate ok. So, input gate, output gate and forget gate of LSTM are replaced with are replaced with reset gate and update gate in GRUs ok. So, we have these two gates reset and update. So, when I come when we talk about the functionality the reset gate determines how much of the pre previous hidden state to forget ok. So, how much to forget, how much to retain is what decided by the reset gate. And when we talk about the update function or update gate that determines how much of the vector to incorporate to the new hidden state ok. That is how much to take from the previous gate is decided by the forget gate ok. And how much data to be taken forward will be decided by the update gate ok. So, overall GRU is one of the wonderful alternative for LSTM when you talk about sequential data handling ok. So, when you have less number of computational resources or when you want to use simple architecture. So, we replace LSTMs with gated recurrent units which are GRUs ok. Now, this is a simple GRU architecture as told you earlier. So, instead of having input gate, output gate and forget gate, here we have only update gate and reset gate. So, we take the input gate and give that to the update gate. So, this will decide what information to be taken from the hidden state forwards and reset gate will decide what to be taken, what to be discarded and then it will give to the candidate hidden gate and from where we can take the output. So, this is the simple GRU architecture ok. So, update gate and reset gate are the two important gates each serving unique purpose ok. So, basically understand that the reset gate identifies the short term relationships and the update gate will require or will recognize long term connections. Reset for short term, update gate for long term connections ok. So, these are the various components of the architecture. We have update gate which decides degree of past information forwarded to the future, reset gate amounts of past information to discard, candidate hidden state that is the next candidate hidden state that is the next state which will decide new representations from both input and past hidden and finally, we have the hidden state which is a blend of both the update gates ok. So, when you talk about the philosophy behind GRUs ok, they are similar to LSTMs as you see here ok. So, we have your switch state ok. So, we are switching the state, we update 
we take a GRU function, we update the hidden state, we use this function switch state wherein I am taking the previous data and adding the new data to that particular thing. Okay. So, this is how I update my function for GRUs. Now, instead of erasing or updating the memory, what GRU does is it uses switching mechanism. Okay. So, when I talk about switching mechanism, it says the cell will first compute the new state from the old state and the input and then it computes the switch function, a value between 0 to 1. When I talk about this switch function, it basically chooses the new state and the old state, whether to process with the current state or I also have to include the previous state. Okay. So, when you talk about this GRU update function, as you can see, this is a simple GRU cell. Okay. I am talking about only one cell explaining you the switching mechanism. Okay. So, here I take my input from the update state and the previous state. I use switch mechanism which decides whether I have to take the previous state also or the current input which is being processed. Okay. So, the update function for GRU is very simple than LSTMs. The previous architecture that we have seen is nothing but the update function. Okay. So, this is the main difference between your GRU architecture and uh, LSTM architecture. So, with this simple architecture of GRU, GRUs are tend to train faster than LSTMs. Okay. So, this is a simple uh, mechanism of how GRUs work which are other alternative for RNNs and LSTMs. Thank you.